I'm here with Dr. Bridget O'Connell, Superintendent of Palisades School District, talking about Palisades Certificate Programs. Good morning, Dr. O'Connell. Good morning. Can you please share with us what Palisades School District is doing to collaborate with local colleges? I sure can. So Palisades has had uh, career pathways beginning in 2006, so that's with our medical career path. We started then, um, and since that time in uh, 2014, we added business career pathway, and in the last three years, we've added pathways in global studies, um, engineering, as well as next year, we're going to launch our education pathway. So in order to help our students get a better idea of what those career areas look like and what courses they may be taking in college if they're interested in that, um, we've aligned with Bucks County Community College as well as Lackawanna College to create opportunities for students to complete a certificate um, indicating that they've taken a series of courses in this area. And how does this collaboration benefit the students at the high school? So what I'm really excited about is our career pathways um, provide opportunities for our kids in the workplace so they're able to see what professionals in that field actually do and with our uh, collaboration with our colleges students will have an opportunity while still in high school to take courses and see if the coursework is something that they're interested in. So my concern is students having an idea of what they may want to do when they graduate and then getting to college and realizing that the major is not what they're interested in and it's really not what they're interested in doing for a career path. So this is a way for them to experience those college courses while still in high school. What types of classes are offered? So the types of classes that are offered are your typical intro level courses if you're going to pursue this area as a major. I'll just talk about education and our human services pathway. So if you're interested in the education pathway, being a teacher, um, the courses that you would take would be English as well as biology here at Palisades, which is these are courses you would take anyway. And then at Bucks, you would take Intro to Psychology, and that's a course that we've been running here at Palisades for years. Um, and the other two courses that you would take to complete this certificate of completion would be Foundations of Education and Intro to Exceptionalities. Those would both be Bucks County Community College courses as well. If you would rather pursue the mental health certificate in this area, you would again take English and Biology at Palisades. You would take Intro to Psych, again, that's the same as the education pathway. Then you would take Human Growth and Development or Developmental Psych and Abnormal Psych, and those are both, all three of those would be Bucks courses. And all, are all these courses held at one specific college? Or so at this point, Intro to Psych, as I've mentioned, is held at Palisades High School. We're working on which courses, if we have enough students that would be able to fill a course here to have another Bucks professor come mm -hmm. and teach those courses. If not, students would travel to one of the Bucks County campuses to take the course, or many of these are offered online. So for example, Lackawanna is outside of Scranton, so all the courses that are available through there would be offered online. Okay. Uh, what is the cost for each class? Each course, it's $100 per credit. So if it's a three credit course, it's $300. If it's a four credit course, it's $400. So it's much reduced um, than what you'll be likely spending um, when you are off to college. Can students receive credit for an individual class without completing the entire certificate? Yes, absolutely. I think the benefit again is if you're, let's just stick with the education pathway, if you're in the education pathway, you take intro to psych, you would have taken that course anyway, but then you get into one of the education specific courses and you realize this really isn't for me, I would much rather you finish the course, get the credit, and then not complete it and I think it's great to know when you're in high school yeah. that you don't want to be an educator if that's what you choose. So there's, I would complete the course but if you don't want to finish the certificate of completion that's totally fine as well. Will credits transfer to Pennsylvania State Schools? For Bucks County Community College and Lackawanna both of them have high transferability and the intro courses that are being offered through this program are also highly transferable. So many of the courses, for example, at Bucks would, would transfer to state schools, so Kutztown, Bloomsburg, you know, Temple, and so on. But I always would recommend, and, and I know it's written at the bottom of these descriptors, that please contact the college that you may be interested in to see what the transferability of that course is. Where can I find more information? You can certainly talk with your guidance counselor, and it's also posted in the course selection guide, which is posted online. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I'm really excited about this opportunity for Palisades students and I, I hope it helps them on their path to what they want to do as a career. Mm -hmm.